Hello, today's story is Winnie the Pooh, What Good Friends Do, Part 1. One night, in the Hundred Acre Wood, a nervous piglet could not sleep. He lay in bed listening to the creepy noises all around him. Oh, d -d -d dear, piglet said, I better just stay here until morning, keeping watch for heffalumps, woozles, and all the other creatures that come out at night. The next morning, Pooh knocked on Piglet's door, but there was no answer. That's strange, said Pooh. Piglet knew I was coming. I wonder where he could be. Ever curious, Pooh opened the door and stepped inside. He found his friend in bed, shivering beneath the covers. Oh, bother, said Pooh. What's the matter, Piglet? Oh, deary, dear, dear, said Piglet. Don't you hear it, Pooh? Pooh listened, but all he could hear were the birds chirping outside Piglet's window. I do hear it, said Pooh, and it sounds lovely to me. Not the birds, Pooh, said Piglet. It's the woozles and heffalumps that set their traps inside my house. I know that I am a bear of very little brain, said Pooh, but I don't see anyone here except you and me, Piglet. How can that be, asked Piglet. I'm sure they are here. Those creatures kept me up all night. Perhaps you were dreaming, said Pooh. Let's look around to make sure they're not here. You see, Piglet, said Pooh, feeling relieved. There's nobody here but us. That's true now, Piglet agreed. But last night they were all here. Perhaps a little smackerel of honey will help, said Pooh. Good idea, said Piglet. My rumbly Tummy is grateful, said Pooh. Breakfast always helps me feel braver. The friends were eating and chatting when Piglet's eyes suddenly grew wide as saucers. What's that whooshing and whistling? cried Piglet. It's the wind blowing through your curtains, Pooh said. Are you sure? asked Piglet nervously. It sounds rather wooslish to me. If there was a woozle about, I think I would know it. Now perhaps a smackerel more honey and some tea would be nice, said Pooh hopefully. After Piglet put the kettle on and retrieved another honey pot, he heard a loud hissing. Aha, he cried. Pooh, do you hear that? Yes, Piglet, that would be the tea kettle, said Pooh. Soon Rabbit stopped by with some freshly picked apples. Are you ill? asked Rabbit, staring at Piglet's night clothes. No, said Piglet, but I'm too tired to explain. Just then a horrible banging and clanging began, sending Piglet diving beneath a chair. I believe your pipes need some tightening, said Rabbit. My toolkit and I will be back in a jiffy. Piglet crawled out slowly from underneath the chair and smiled sheepishly at Pooh. But before Pooh could say a word, he heard a plip-plip-plop throughout the kitchen. Pooh went over to Piglet's sink and turned the tap left and right. That should do the trick, he said. I do hope Rabbit hurries, said Piglet. All these noises are making me nervous. Pooh turned to his friend. I think I know a way to help Piglet. What if you pretend to be brave, even if you're really not? Piglet considered this. What good is pretend when there are heffalumps and woozles about? Well, Pooh said, perhaps you might get so busy being brave that you forget that you're pretending, and then you can go on being brave. After Rabbit fixed the pipes, Pooh spent the rest of the noisy day at Piglet's. First it was the drip, drip, drip of rain hitting the roof. Then it was Piglet's front door creaking and squeaking. That night, Pooh checked the house carefully. Try to get some sleep now, Piglet, said Pooh, and remember what we talked about. Yes, said Piglet, I'm going to pretend to be brave. Maybe I'll even dream it. But before Piglet could turn back the covers on his bed, there came a long, low rumble followed by a giant crash. It's just a little thunder and lightning, said Pooh, don't be frightened. Oh, d -d -d dear Pooh, said Piglet, I'm not pretending to be brave very well, am I? 
I'll keep watch tonight, Piglet, said Pooh, tucking Piglet into bed. Maybe you can try pretending again in the morning. But soon Piglet heard a strange sigh, followed by a long snore. What could it possibly be? To be continued. Thank you for reading with me. See you again for part two. Goodbye.